Father, for our minds in, let's all stand. We go before the Lord in prayer. And are there any other, are there any unspoken prayer requests? You can make them known by the raising of your hand. God of acknowledge. Let's all bow our heads in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, to come out to this house of worship just one more time. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, to wake up this morning clothed in our right mind to the original portion of our health and our strength. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your angels that you encamped the battle, around the battles, Lord, as we travel over the dangerous highways and byways, Lord, as we made our way safely in you, as we made our way to the house of God, keeping us safe, Lord, from both dangers seen and unseen. Lord, thank you, Lord, for guiding us, Lord, and keeping us, Lord, through the snowstorm. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for all your wonderful blessings, Lord Jesus. And Lord, I want to ask, Lord, you look upon us, Lord, as we go before you, as we enter into your presence, Lord. Lord, I want to ask, Lord, you touch our hearts so we may receive your word, Lord. Let your word fall upon the ground. Lord, look upon all these prayer requests that have been submitted before you, Lord. Touch and move in each and every one of them according to your will. Lord, be careful to give your name and praise and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Lord saints. How many of y'all know that every time you turn around, you see blessings on top of blessings? Amen. Well, want to thank the Birth Tabernacle family choir for help leading us in praise and worship. And at this time, excuse me, I ask Mr. Allen and the ushers to come to help us receive this morning's offering. I mean, this evening's offering, tithes and offering. Miss Adam, would you go ahead and thank you? Thank you, Lord, for the day. Thank you for the church. God, thank you for the opportunity we have. Now, we give tonight, Lord, and worship. We have a good blessing to you. Thank you, Lord, for your prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you.
Amen. And it tells us to sing unto him, sing songs unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Amen. Has the Lord done any wonderful thing for you? Amen. He's such a good God. And we're so thankful. Amen. For every opportunity. It's a good thing to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And we're so thankful that we do get together. Amen. And worship the Lord. Amen. Even on a cold night. Thank Amen. God. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. I don't know what's been going on with the weather. <laughs> Amen. Uh, but we're thankful that uh, we get to be in the presence of God. Amen. In the fullness of joy. Amen. Where there are pleasures forevermore. So we're thankful for that. Praise God. Amen. Somebody testify tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everybody thankful.
the Lord. Praise the Lord. I learned a long time ago. Amen. Preached one, preached two, preached three, preached four, five. Yeah. Two or three, but God is in his name. He's right there. Praise God. Amen. There's something different about the service tonight. Turn to your neighbor and say, don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you, Sister Rose, for that song. I want to invite your attention to the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6, and Psalm 138, 8. Lord, we bless your holy name. Somebody bless the Lord right now with your worship. Come on, bless him with your worship right now. Shout out, God cares for me. God cares for me. He cares for me.
That's within our nature. That's in our nature. And therefore, there are times in our lives that we worry. Because there are things that have become beyond our control. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And make sure that everything, amen, that we love, as far as our loved ones, We believe worrying about those things can make it happen. Mm. Yes, well. They simply worrying about our loved ones. What else can take over our mind if we aren't killed? They can cause us to react instead of turning to the Lord. Yeah. What that? Worries. What that? Can rob us of a peaceful night sleep yeah. and leave us feeling exhausted and helpless. <laughs> Don't worry. No worry, because the Lord has made a way for us to take care of our worries. Hello? He had made a way. We see in the text tonight. The Lord is concerned about what we're burdened with. Mm -hmm. yes, he is. Amen. Not only he's concerned what we're burdened with, he tells us how to handle it. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Hello? Yes. He tells us how to handle it. I appreciate Apostle Paul and his writing. You tell me that Apostle Paul did not have any worries. Yes, he did. He had some worries. He had some worries. Yeah, he, did. he sure did. He expressed. That's right. That's being human. We would have worries. Yes, we are. But that's as we worry about something and become concerned about something in our lives. God looks down from heaven and he's concerned just as much as we are concerned. Mm -hmm. That's why he had made a way for us to take care of our worries. Take it to the Lord. In prayer, make your request known. This afternoon, this tonight verse in Philippians says that we should present all our requests to God. Amen. In exchange for our petition, you know what the Lord does? He gives us peace. That's right. Yes. Uh -huh. In the midst of our worries, yes, simply because we make our requests known unto God. Amen. I'll give you an example. Read on, brother. You see, the early church had some experience in worrying. And being concerned about some things. Yes, 
there was a great revival. Many folks got the Holy Ghost. But the church became persecuted. And you tell me if they didn't worry. Read on. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to beg certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John. Oh, Lord. my goodness. And because he saw it please the Jews. I wonder when they saw that, they were thinking, am I next? You know. And because he saw it please the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter home. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four returning. Now, it amazes me that how the Lord allowed this to play out. Some was right out killed. But he saved Peter to teach us a powerful lesson. Read on. The soldiers to keep him, intending that after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing. But prayer! He was asleep. Bound with two chains. And the keepers before the door kept the prison. He was in a ditch. Read on. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him. And a light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter. Why did the angel of the Lord appear in the prison? Because their request. And your request is important. Yes. Read on. And, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hand. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself and bind only bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. And he went out and followed him. And wist not that it was true which was done by the angel. Mm. Thought he saw a vision. Now, all of this is going on uh -huh. simply because there was some apostolics gathered in one place, one mind, and one accord praying for Peter. Turn to your neighbor and say, don't worry, don't worry. but make your request known unto God. Amen. Read on, brother. And when they were past the first and second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. God was so concerned about what they was concerned about that he dispatched an angel to go and see about Peter. Read on, brother. When Peter was come to himself, he said, Come to himself. She went to the door and she heard his voice and knew his voice. And the Bible said that she was so glad and so excited 
Then she ran to tell the others that their prayer was answered. That Peter was at the door knocking. Just for us, for us. That He'll give us peace. Because God is concerned with all our cares, He will never make us feel like our worries. God listens to the cry of our hearts like a concerned father about his children. Your request is important. And God gives us a way how to deal with our work. Stop trying to control your words. Give it to the Lord in prayer. Amen. One of the greatest examples in Scripture how the Lord miraculously worked out a major problem for Peter. Somebody stopped praying and made their request known unto the Lord. And to move God to a place where he dis dispatched an angel to go and rescue Peter. He gave them a miracle that they couldn't hardly believe it. Uh -huh. Remember, they saw some killed. Right. They were worried about, am I next? Yeah. Then they saw Peter apprehended on the prison. They knew that he was next. So let's have a prayer meeting. And they prayed. And they prayed. God heard the request. And he did it. Peter. When we pray and present our concerns, we can leave them with the Lord and then move on and place our hope and faith in him. There are times We begin to worry about things and beyond our control. Give them to the Lord. He is just concerned about your worries as you are. And he knows how to give us peace. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Make us a word about 
much in hell. Never. The doctor gave you a bad report. You're laying down in the bed at night and you're worried. You're not even sleeping. You're worried. But you know how you can get peace? You know how you can go to sleep? Make your request known unto the Lord. And he will give you the peace. I'm talking about the peace that comes from the Lord. Glory. Let's thank the Lord for that hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, when you feel temptation to worry, notice this. When you feel temptation of word. You know what we need to do? Immediately give our cares to the preacher. <laughs> to a brother in Christ. Immediately give it to the Lord. So give it to the Lord. Our problem is we just hold on to the word. Yes. Amen. Make my, yes, right. But give them to the Lord. He's just concerned about your worries as you are. Uh -huh. And he knows how to give you peace in the midst of the, the storm. Amen. Bless Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He will take away our worries uh -huh. and replace them with kind, kindness, yes. peace, yes. that only he can provide. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, he will. Yes, Lord. In 2018, we put in a building commitment. Sometimes, even after you make a request known, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. Come on, you gotta wait. But in the midst of your waiting, uh -huh. God can give you peace. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Peace. Thank you, Lord. It passes all the understanding. He can give you peace in the midst of your words if you simply make your request known to the Lord. I refuse to have sleepless nights. But I had a burden uh -huh. since 2018. Oh yes. And I made my request known to the Lord. Oh yes. And I had peace until the Lord answered my request. Let's thank the Lord for his goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Until the Lord answered my request. felt so good today. Preach, preacher. Tell it. Tell it. Tell it. I felt so good today. Tell it. Amen. I could have shot it all down, went down the steps. Matter of fact, I crossed the street, lifted up my hands, and I just, yeah. you know, God knows how to do it. He know how to do it. He 
was talking to a preacher and I said, they got us for $7,415. You know what the preacher told me? He said, God got more than that. Ah, that's right. You know what he's doing? He basically was prophesying. That's right. There's going to be more money to come. Let's thank the Lord for that. Hallelujah. Glory. One time, we couldn't afford to write a check. Hello? Hello? You see how good the Lord is? When you make your request known, yes. he knows exactly how much money you need. Yes. When you need it. He knows how to help you through your struggles. Yes. Even though the words haven't disappeared, but you made your request known to the Lord. Yes. And the Lord is as like playing chess. It's right. Amen. And he does it in such a way that when it happens, you can't help but give him the credit. And you can't help to rejoice in the Lord because he done it all by himself. Let's thank the Lord for the Thank you. Thank you. Saul, jealous, was out to get him. It was many years right. before David got to the throne. That's right. And you tell me that David didn't walk around worried. But the difference was he made his request known unto God and God protect him. He protected him. He done miraculous miracles. Amen for him. Praise the Lord. He gave them some misfit, misfit soldiers. That's right. And they began came men of the valley. Men of the Okay, men of the God knows how to help us and we take no worries to him. If you don't get anything out of this tonight, your request is important. Your request is important because God is concerned about what you're concerned about. He may not take care of the way he wanted to take care of, but he's going to take care of it if he simply makes the request known to the Lord. 
this will lead to. Come on, give those words to the Lord right now. He kaya to shalabakaha. Make your request known unto the Lord. He kaya to holy yamba kaya tabaka. Make your request known unto the Lord. He kaya to shalabakaya tabaka. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give him thanks for it. He ya to shalabaka. Thank you for taking care of it. He kaya to shalabakaha. Thank you for taking care of it. Thank you for taking care of your words. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Amen. Make your request known in prayer and supplication to the Lord. God is not a respected person. What he done for David, what he done for Peter, and the saints, he can do it for us today. If we can send it, make our request in prayer and supplication. Praise God. Praise God. The Lord has a way to take you down every lane. I remember there was a time that we could have had a nine thousand dollar check. But we did it. Thank you. 